Hello everyone, and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we're on episode number 89. As always, I'm Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. You can also come over to codecrowdy.com, sign up for the newsletter here on the left side. Today we're going over the private message module. This is a module I've used on quite a few sites in the past, Drupal 6 and Drupal 7, and it basically allows you to configure your website so users can send and receive messages within the website. There's a, this can be useful on many different types of community-based sites or social networks, things like things of that nature, and it's a very useful and very well-developed module with a whole bunch of different sub-modules, and so I'll try to get it to a few of them now, and maybe I'll do another episode later with uh, going into more detail on the other sub-modules that come along with the private message module. So I have the test site here, and it's pretty much a basic Drupal 7 site. And I'll come in here and look and see that I have the private message module downloaded. You can see it comes with looks like about eight different sub-modules. I'm going to first just turn on the basic private messages module. and We'll start there. You can see it does have email notifications, the ability to block user messages, the ability to filter messages using tags. You can set private message limits using this module. There's real name integration, which the real name module will basically allow you to specify a user's real name and then it of course integrates with that so you can message someone using their real name versus their username on Drupal. You can send messages to members of a role and you can also integrate this with rules which I have some past videos on rules and this can of course be handy if you're using rules for some of your different workflows on your Drupal website. We're just going to start with just the private messages module. So went ahead and turned that on and I'm going to go ahead and first come into permissions and down here there'll be some permissions for private messages so I'm going to allow authenticated users to read private messages to write new private messages to delete their own and reply to private messages we won't let them use tokens or select the text format so we'll go ahead and use that for our permissions so basically allowing authenticated users to send and receive private messages back and forth now I will come back into and click on the configuration so we can do a little bit of configuration here and the good thing about the Drupal 7 version of private message, the private messages module is it all integrates with Drupal fields so you can configure things pretty easily here. So here it says threads per page, you can configure fields to show participants, different options there, S select the number of messages, you can also go through different displays. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to look at the manage field section and you can see that this just uses just the regular old Drupal fields API so you can add as many fields as you want. It comes with a two which is the recipient field, subject, a body, so you can add multiple fields there. I'm not going to actually do any of that because it, what it comes with is pr pretty much covers most use cases or at least my use case in this simple example. You can also of course manage the display if you add extra fields but we're gonna go ahead and actually start by adding or creating a message here so we already went through the settings we already went through the permissions now we actually are going to create a private message Oops, that's not what I wanted to click and I'm going to add this private message links to the first sidebar just so I actually can see the links you can of course add your own links once you know the paths or you can use this the links that are provided in this block so I'll go ahead and I'll 
close this, you can see now I have write new messages. I can also view my messages. If I go here, it says I have no messages available. I'll go ahead and write a new message. I do have a user called test, and that's the username. You can enter multiple recipients. So I'm going ahead and send a message there. And once I send it, you can see it says that it was sent by me. Oh. And it says this is a test message between you and test. You can come back to my messages and see that it has been sent out. You can mark it as read or unread. I can check this and delete it. What I'll go ahead and do is I will hop over here and log in as this test user. It says I have one unread message here in the note or in this messages section on the Drupal site. You can also see it says I have one new message. I can see that it says it's new, click on it, and I can reply. Once I send that, it says that the Shane user, which is the original user, sent this message and I sent this message. And of course, that works both ways. If I come back, it says I have a new message. And you can, of course, send messages to all different types of users depending on you know their permissions of course if I come to the users profile page I got here of course by clicking on the username here but if you had profiles like a social network you can of course put a link here to send this user a private message and it will default that user in the to field so that's really it for the basics of private messages this can get you started for allowing users to communicate back and forth on your website in a private manner so that only they can see the messages so it's good for private conversations on a website go ahead and give this module a try and next time we'll go through some of the other modules that come with the private messages module and we'll see what other features we can add to this thanks for watching the daily dose of Drupal and we'll see you next time